Today on Brit Lab, a surprising psychological trick to help you curb your cravings. None of us are a stranger to cravings, which can torture and seduce us until we give in. My real weakness is chocolate. My family know that if they have any in the house, they have to hide it, otherwise I will scoff it. And my daughter has never forgiven me because when she was seven years old, I ate her chocolate Easter egg. I was wandering around late at night. I saw it a little bit, bigger bit. Soon it was all gone. So what can we do about these cravings? Well, researchers from the University of Boston say they have come up with a very neat psychological trick which can help you boost your willpower. The idea is that if you just imagine eating these foods as opposed to actually eating them, then this will reduce your cravings. It seems wildly unlikely, but there have been studies which suggest it actually works. A group of volunteers were asked to imagine eating chocolate three times, while another group had to imagine eating it 30 times. The group asked to imagine eating 30 chocolates ate almost 40% less than those asked to imagine eating just three. When you first eat a small morsel of something that you really crave, then it's absolutely gorgeous. You get this enormous dopamine hit in the brain. It's incredibly rewarding. But after a few more mouthfuls, the effects begin to wear off a little bit. This is called habituation. So the idea behind this technique is if you imagine eating 30 bits, by the time you reach the 30th bit, your brain has become habituated. You are bored not just of the imaginary food, but the actual food as well. The technique only works for the specific thing you are imagining, or at least something very like it. So for example, it's no use imagining eating cheese if you have a craving for chocolate. Cravings are essentially your brain telling you you need something when actually you don't. So there's something rather neat about trying to use a psychological trick to fool your brain. Does it work? Well, I suspect it depends on the individual and the thing they crave. But if there is something that you would like to give up, why not give it a go? Do give us your thoughts about cravings. While you're here, why don't you subscribe to BritLab?